It is time for the second series. Well, that least Billy and I are, are bringing you this evening and be our sixth overall on the night. And uh, I'm, I'm especially looking forward to this one, Billy. Yeah, it's a pair of scrim buddies. Uh, yes. They have been scrimming each other in the off season, getting ready for the third season of the EGFC Rocket Ball. And uh, I mean, Rocket Ball. right up today, Rocket Ball. Fairfield versus Sienna. And, uh, you know, looking at uh, Sienna or Fairfield, uh, Sienna has two freshmen coming in. Didn't even know that they had a Rocket League team and then wanted to join right away. Also, our producer, Eon, uh, has let us know, know that he's had a steady diet of blue and white all day. So he's happy to see red and green on the field. And we're getting the returning squad from Fairfield University of Matter, Elysium, and Soccer Scout. Uh, some built-in synergy here. So this relatively new squad of Sienna definitely has their work cut out for them. A pair of freshmen, that's going to be Jopster and Hanbug. You see Jopster on your screen right now. Going for an attempt. That went into the corner. Opportunity for a rebound. That's going to go in. And it's X6 who is able to break the tie early on. X6 wasn't uh, even listed as one of their starters, Billy. I mean, yay. Right out the gate. Uh, that's a beautiful start for Sienna. And they are coming to play here in the third season. This is the first match of the season for both teams. Matter lit up the highlight reel in the spring split. I saw many plays from this player, and uh, they were just all over the place. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. But uh, Hanba has a different idea of what's going to go on here. I'm just going to dump it into the other corner. Fairfield will chase that down, get the clear. Meet up high. Uh, Sienna's going to win that 50 in the air, not allow anything to drop in front of the net. Great play out of them so far. They look measured. Oh. And, I mean, just keeping pressure on. I mean, you just throw those shots down, make Fairfield think twice, and just forcing Fairfield to stay back, keep two in net, because these shots are coming in hard and fast from the young oh, freshman. Whoa! What a play! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, and I hung that as everybody says on Twitter when they're trying to put stuff out there. What a redirect by X6 there. But what is so smart coming out from Sienna right now is that they are playing smartly. They're not just dumping the ball. They actually are taking control and getting a little possession under their feet, under their tires, whatever you want to say, and uh, are possessing out of the backfield and moving forward. Look at this. Soft touch to move forward. Oh, but unfortunately, that landed right in front of Elysium, who just slams that one home. Now, we got a game here for Ed's two to one, 90 seconds into game one. Yeah, that was just an unfortunate touch by Jumpster right there. And, uh, you know, it just went into the waiting arms of Fairfield. And that was pure joy. Three goals off the truck. Not even a minute off the clock yet. Matter. Trying to push that one wide. Try to slow down this play a little bit, but X6 oh. is going to take it right oh. back to him. What a lob goes over the defense. Oh, my goodness. Is that little second touch in there, Billy? Look at these details. I'm so impressed with the squad. Oh, my word. That is a self-pass, and that is just a beautifully lofted shot and a butte. They knew that there wasn't enough boost to get them up in this air, and that was just clinical from X6. That trick already from this new team. From X6 in general. Jobster with another patient. Nice, just little touch. Beautiful finesse and fourth goal. Here for Sienna. Oh, that is using the slide turn at its best, Jeff. Just the quick little readjustment and just getting a kiss on the ball. Nothing that Fairfield can do to keep it out the back of the net. I'm just going to win the face off. Goes right to Lissy. Lysium coming in solo, but has got three green opposition. That's, that was a terrible phrase. But you guys, there was a lot of defense there, Billy. Uh, and they're going to deflect the ball here once again. Uh, Elysium in the corner trying to force it center. But Sierra is not giving them anything right now. Hama's going to come in with a clear matter and intercepts that pass. It goes right back over to Sienna. Able to push it down into the corner. Matter's got control right now. Not able to beat Hamba on that one. Yeah, the communication is apparent on the screen as we see it playing out here. Uh, you can tell when the rotations are coming in, you're telling when somebody's wanting to go for the ball and they're just leaving the ball there or setting up their teammate going forward. This should be a goal scoring opportunity. Johnson, what a save. That is abuse. Yeah, see, I had to sit two on that one just to make sure. That's two bounces close off the post there for Fairfield. Soccer Scout got to come in and intercept at midfield. 
can't quite beat Hamba on that ball. And, and once again, Fairfield are forced on the back foot. They do get the clear. Looks like they're sending Elysium and Matter gets the, the demo and Elysium gets the goal. Oh man, that is a timely, timely demolition there. And I mean, this leaves the goal wide open for Elysium there to take the joy out of that. Two goal deficit now for Fairfield. Uh, both teams are awake. They both had their espresso this afternoon and they are absolutely showing it on the, on the field here. Nice little touch from Hamba going deep into the corner. Uh, that was quite the demo. If Matter hadn't have gotten that demo, that ball would not have gone in. The deflect was there midfield. And, and you saw the ball just roll right through the smoldering remains of the defense to keep Fairfield within striking range as we just passed the 92nd mark. Down by two. Fairfield are back in there Ooh. and they're able to clear that ball. It cost them two to do it. Fortunately, the ball is knocked well out of range and they're able to reset a little bit. Hamba coming in from the air, not quite able to connect on that ball. Matter's going to get the clear. Big difference right now, Jeff, is that Fairfield has decided that violence is the answer and getting more physical with it. And I'm loving to see it. The bumps, the demos, everything's starting to work in favor of Fairfield. They've got about 60 seconds to get this done. Oh, no, 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 cool. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Hey, Elysium had decided to rotate back. Oh, man, that's I thought that was an opportunity. Oh. Instead, Exix is just going to drive it all the way down and create an opportunity of their own, putting that lead back to three. Oh, look at that. Beating him up on the wall. Beats both defenders. Exix just drove past all three members of Fairfield to put that one home. Yeah, and Jobster would have cleaned up if uh, X6 wouldn't have been able to get the touch on them. There may have been a double kiss there from both the players there as well. So, I mean, regardless, beautiful tracking there from Jobster on the Johnny on the spot. But X6 has shown up to be a fantastic pickup for Sienna here uh, in the fledgling season here of season three. And they're not done yet. No, they, they certainly are not. And another strong start. It's Sienna what? making a statement this time. Jobster with a beautiful intercept to keep that one out of the net. X6 driving down. Boost got stolen, so they have none. Elysium's going to beat him to this ball into the corner. Trying to get it off the wall up high. Matter coming through with the intercept. Elysium's going to rotate to center. Jobster comes through. Ball going through a little fast. Pushed back down. Fairfield want to keep this in the green half. Try to create an opportunity, but they've run out of time. Still a last second goal. Always good for morale. They might just get it. They do. Well, I mean, that's going to give them a little bit of wind under their wings going into the next match. But uh, it is Sienna, the underdogs, the untested team that has come out and put a five spot up on Fairfield University. And let me tell you what, Matter kind of got shut down by Sienna. The rotations were cleaned out of Sienna. Uh, Hanba and Jobster in the back line. Uh, were able to withstand the offensive pressure that came in from Fairfield more times than not. Only three shots on goal, but all three shots. Or I'm sorry, there was, uh, let's see, it was 10 shots on goal, three made it in. So, I mean, that's a 30% rate. Uh, on the other side, you know, you're looking at eight goals out of four. So, yeah, 50% closure rate there from Sienna. And, I mean, uh, five I, at I, all. Yeah. Five goals that's on eight shots. Beautiful. beautiful. So, I mean, you're, you're looking at Fairfield was out shooting them throughout the match. But uh, Sienna were able to find those opportunities, great counterattack, and, and just very measured. What I what I saw from that opening game, what I took away from that was a very measured approach on on when to send, when to double commit, uh, when to really put pressure down, when to hold back. It's beautiful, just little finesse touches. They they didn't try to drill the ball every time. Great reads on the finish when they got it in front of the net. They're able to just put that that little bit of of oomph on it, be it the lob, be it the, the little touch. Uh, to find just the right spot to put those goals on the board. You nailed it right on the head there, Jeff. It was the small little touches. It was the controlled possession. Mm -hmm. Rather than dumping the ball, they were taking possessions and taking a few touches before they decided what they were going to do with the ball. And that is a sign of a very cohesive team and a very smart team and team that is not reacting to the pressure of being in their season here. I mean, you had two people that didn't even know that Rocket League was available at Siena, and now they here they are on the national stage and they're showing up and showing out. Five, three winners of the first match. That is beautiful work from the fledgling team. Oh, looking impressive. And, and uh, I mean, another sign of discipline as well. Uh, I, I think that is 
that is the word I'm putting on this team right now, Billy. This team looks disciplined. The Saints out of Loudonville, New York, have made a statement here in game one. Now, yep. we have hit the pitch for game number two. See Fairfield can strike back. Well, I mean, that's a beautiful dump uh -oh, pass. That's, that's a, a goal. shot of goal. Woo! X, I mean, a job, sir. Just a beautiful touch. Just steals the ball and cross. I mean, that was open territory. That is a switch right there and a butte, Jeff. Fairfield way over committed on that, and Hamba read it like a book. You saw Hamba go deep behind enemy lines. There was no opposition. Easy plan off of a, a wonderful pass and intercept in midfield. And the commits here, and the commitment to being back. Uh, and when they are in this uh, this defensive position, they know what rotations they're going to use here to be able to get in. Going for the pinch off the high backboard, no joy there, and demolition to boot. This ball's not gonna touch the ground, Billy. That went from end to end without touching the ground. Look at this, all three players involved. Hamba with the shot off the wall. And there we go with the follow-up. We didn't get to see the first hit that was off the backboard from the green half. That was impressive. I mean, this is impressive coming out from Seattle once again. I want to remind everybody, two of these players did not even know the Rocket League was available at Seattle. And almost a third goal off the trot, less than 20 or 40 seconds off the board. Uh, Sienna doesn't have their captain in. Ryan G is the captain of this team. He's got to put this team together. And we're not even seeing Ryan G on the battlefield right now, unless there's been a, a gamer tag change. I mean, like, that's entirely possible. Uh, but because X6, I, I was not informed about. You know, it's our first time, obviously, in game one seeing this. Fairfield with an opportunity. He's going to get denied by X6 there. But this is Sienna playing without their captain on the battlefield or on the pitch and, and looking oh so strong with those two goalies about to be three here if they keep doing these rotations and, and this uh the following and the tracking of the ball uh from Seattle right now is absolutely clean and they are just not willing to give up any kind of possession to Fairfield other than you know these helpful little dinks that they can just run past them on oh what a play x6 draws two it just opens up midfield to get a nice easy clear to put it in the corner now the pressure's coming on drops from this that intercept ball is gonna just gently bounce back into the corner. Hanba is able to run that one off the wall. We're gonna get a little scrim in midfield for it. Soccer Cell going back, trying to challenge, but Sienna are the ones who are able to push it down all the way to the red half. Elysium trying to take it high, but Hanba comes in with a nice steal. I mean, this is a total team match coming out of Sienna right now. They know the ball is going in for a pinch off the back or a little redirect there. And they are all back, ready to go, have the boost available to get Ariel. And they're winning these 50-50s nine times out of 10. Oh, another big clear opportunity for another counter attack. X6 sends it wide. Soccer Scout trying to chase it down. It had uh, that mega boost and used it to drive all the way to the goal, but lost possession of the ball. Let's see him trying to back him up as Soccer Scout makes the rotation. And Fairfield just don't have any room to work. Sienna are strangling them right now. So oppressive all the way up to midfield. They are in control of their half and know exactly when to push it down. And it looks like they're going to try and do it right here. The rotation coming through. Oh, Jobster gets demoed. It doesn't matter. The ball's there off the top bar. Hanba just a mere inches away from putting another one home. Counterattack intercepted. I think the demolition actually helps Sienna out there <laughs> in their uh, in their defensive capabilities, uh, seeing them getting back into the field right into where the path of the ball was going to be going goal bound. But Fairfield not out of it yet. Still 90 seconds left. They're only down by two goals. Nice save once again by X6. They are all over the pitch, Jeff. And not really giving up any shots. I and mean, you see X6 perfectly positioned to deflect that one before it even gets close. Uh, aggressively out of the box to close the gap, not give wide angle no. for shooting. Now here's an open net. Soccer Scout gets beat off the top board. No! Oh, this is, it's still in a dangerous spot. It's going to bounce multiple times in front of the net. And no! just takes another shot at it. That one goes wide. Soccer, St Soccer Scout will come steal it away. And Fairfield absolutely dodging a bullet on that one, Billy. He dodged an entire clip there. What are you talking about, Jeff? That was three <laughs> shots that's going to be gold. And they got no joy out of it. Still, oh. they don't get a shot. Matter couldn't close.
close the deal on that jab. That was their best chance of this match, and they just have not had any joy. Yeah, at least of this second game. I'll give you that. Oh, and now they're kicking themselves after that wonderful defense. They they kind of flub the opportunity to get the goose egg off the board and put them within range as we go past the 30 second mark down to 20 seconds now. Ball still in the red half as the demo comes through 3v2 temporarily. Ball bounce at midfield. This seems the one in position to grab it, but there's not much follow up matter against the demo, but doesn't get enough touch on the ball. An opportunity is sent wide as the final seconds dwindle down. Ball gets spiked and Sienna move up to match point. Oh my word. Oh, the only thing that I can say right now about what Sienna is doing is their willingness to come off the ball instead of pursuing a ball that they know might put them into a bad position. You will see it time and time again in the replays. They are pulling off the ball if they think that there's any kind of a chance of a counterattack that's coming out of Fairfield, because that's where all most of the goals came from Fairfield in that first match. So they're willing to take themselves off the ball and kind of dial down the aggression in order to be better, better prepared for that defensive stand that they're going to have to have against Fairfield, because you know that Elysium and Matter can absolutely bury the ball in the back of the net, but they have not had anything to sniff at this second match. No, and it's that aggressive defense I was talking about coming out of the box and, and not really giving opportunities. I mean, we were surprised to see the ball bouncing that close into the green net. Sienna have been so good at this. They kept the shots down by half in game two compared to game one, 10 to five respectively. And it was having that number of shots that Fairfield were relying on for two to eventually go in. Uh, it wasn't a three, excuse me, there in game one, which wasn't enough to, to take that game. But this time, the disciplined squad from Sienna even outshot them and, and really just gave up zero love. They only scored two goals in that, but it was more than enough to put on match point. Yeah, and I mean, I'm expecting more of the same here in, in game number three. So we'll see uh, if Fairfield can turn it around here. I mean, they are the veterans here. And Sienna, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll keep banging this drum. Two players didn't even know that there was a Rocket League team and they are showing up and showing out in Sienna. Looking very strong here in the early goings of EGF season three. And, you know, like we mentioned at the, the top of this game, these two scrimmed each other a lot over the summertime. So they know each other's play style. They know each other very well. So, I mean, this could be just a matter of Sienna kind of has this team downloaded uh, and, and know when they need to get in the face of Fairfield. Uh, like you mentioned, I mean, we, we know like Soccer Scout and Matter are, are aggressive and extremely talented players. But uh, Sienna are just dismantling them as they continue to put pressure on. That ball intercepted, but here comes Six. Is able to push it down, keep it in the red half. Still has that ball off the second touch. That's beating two players now. Drive it to the net. Is there anybody in the middle? No, Matter's gonna steal it around. See some daylight at the end of the tunnel. Amba is gonna get the turnaround steal, force it into the corner. Soccer Scout there trying to force its center. And Fairfield putting some pressure in, but they can't convert it to shots yet again. Yeah, I mean, it's, once again, it's the willingness to disengage that we see out of Sienna that is really keeping them ahead in this entire series. Uh, you know, this is the longest that we've gone without a goal off the trot here in this uh, series between Fairfield and Sienna. So uh, maybe a little bit less aggression coming out from Fairfield off the boot and not allowing the counterattack coming in from Sienna. Let's see him. Oh, just didn't quite get all of it. Was, was hoping to send that downfield, but... Just a little light on the touch. The ball bounces straight up. Now six is there to capitalize. Soccer scout barely able to push it away, but what? here comes the follow up. The little back flip set up for Jobster to slam it home. Oh, oh watch, watch <laughs> six. Yes, roll it backwards. Got right junk in front in the of trunk. Jobster. Oh, junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. Do the booty shuffle. There we go. That was a fun goal. And once again, a 1 0 lead here for Sienna. Yeah, I mean, they're just coming out the gate once again. It took a little, little bit longer this time, almost a minute and 45 seconds to get that first goal on the board. But once again, they've got, you know, this forward staying power. They've got the, uh, they like having a lead. They like being the front runner. And uh, they are absolutely taking it to him once again. Absolutely suffocating. And they're putting the ball right back in the red half once again, off the back, a little too high for Jobster to get in up to it. 
I uh, didn't quite expect the ball to go that high. I had the boost to get up there, but it was a little fast and a little out of range. And it's still Fairfield on the back foot. And, and now down a player. As it is Sienna just continue to push this thing back and forth. Try to create an opportunity. Soccer Scout able to muscle past one, but here comes the backup. It's Jobster there. Push it in front. Six with a wide open net. Increases the lead to two. Jobster is probably going to be my player of the match because of the setups, uh, the demos, the physicality, the beautiful placement of balls right into the oncoming traffic. I mean, just player has done it all today. And uh, they get my gold star for this match. Well, that is Six's sixth goal of the series. Uh, my OCD was happy with that, so I just wanted to highlight that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But uh, more forward pressure coming from Sienna once again, and we cross the halfway mark, and uh, Sienna is not letting up. No, Fairfield sees an opportunity, quickly shut down. Dropster's going to send that wide, chase down their own ball, has their eye in the back of the net. Two defenders racing back, and Soccer Scouts able to make it there. Elysium sends it wide, seeing Hamba in the wings, waiting for it. Ball almost rolled and just narrowly goes wide. And here comes the counterattack once again. Pressure from both sides. Matters able to keep that one out of the goal. That was a save of the century. Oh my God, that was beautiful. <laughs> loved it, loved it. But you see, once again, Hanba uh, recognizing when they cannot be for their traditional, what I call the third man back. And uh, they are playing this in a beautiful, exquisite way right now. And gosh, I mean, any kind of a sniff of a chance, the rotation defensively coming from Sienna is absolutely suffocating. I think you have put the word on it. They are like a, oh, I don't know, a coyote locking down the prey. There's a goal, finally. Nice. First goal in two games here for Fairfold. They take it to a one goal deficit. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. And the moment you get out of step, Fairfield are certainly skilled enough to capitalize as Elysium just cuts the deficit in half. They're, they're still in this thing, Bill. You cannot count out Fairfield University. No. Uh-oh. Six. Goal. Uh-oh. Well, Six has said, no, give me my two-goal lead right back. And the answering goal happens within seconds. Seven seconds, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's got to be absolutely deflating for Fairfield as well. Oh my goodness. I mean, they worked so hard to get that, that goal to bring with them one. And now it's back up to a goal, two goal deficit. Sox got, oh! Oh, with the Stags from Fairfield, Connecticut. Strike right back. This has been an explosive 30 seconds, Billy. Uh, that was a beautiful representation of what you can do with an aerial. That and that's what we're used to seeing out of Soccer beautiful. Scout. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I got excited. That was, that's what we're used to seeing out of the squad. Well, I mean, maybe it's time to just choose a little bit more violence and, uh, you know, just throw the ball in front of the net and see what happens because they've run out of other avenues here. They've already lost the series, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what can happen if they can get themselves at least a uh, bat point on the board. If calculated measured strikes aren't working, then just start throwing flurries. Something's going to land. The soccer scouts puts one in front of the net. Matter for looking for the tying goal. Doesn't get enough on it. Oh, 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 never mind the psych out. It's the slow roller that hits the hardest. Oh, I thought Matter was looking for that top corner. No, jukes out two defenders with the slow roller. What a play, tie game. 30 seconds to boot. So we might get some bonus collegiate car ball going on here. Nobody scores. We're going to golden goal territory but uh, 30 seconds left. And let's see if Sienna has anything on the board to get them back up in front. Uh, that's my goal of the day so far. That I, I'm still just reeling from that big brain play. Uh, I mean, e even I from the third person thought Matters didn't get enough on it. No, 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 that was calculated. That was amazing. What a goal. And now looking to strike back. Soccer Scout was going for the go ahead. Gets it stolen. Five seconds left on the clock. We got a demo downfield, only two defenders. Shot goes high, is the follow up there? No, it's wide. And Jobster not in a position to put it home. We are headed to overtime indeed, Billy. Oh boy, bonus car ball coming for you. And let's see, can Fairfield get a match win here? And uh, you know, at least take a little bit of this thing out of their loss. It might be a goal coming in oh, for no, it, there it is. Not like this Fairfield, not like this. 
Oh my goodness, it's the slow bouncer. Matter gets booped off the ball, Jobster <laughs> opts to go with the interference play instead of slamming the ball home, decides to block the defender. And Sienna close it out, it takes till overtime. Fairfield came back swinging, but in the end, Sienna complete the 3-0 sweep. A wonderful debut showing from this freshman squad. Seven shots to 12 also, Jeff. Seven shots to 12, and Sienna still comes out a 4-3 winner in game number three of our match. That is beautiful game at its best. They played a uh, keep away for a majority of the match, you know, just absorbing the pressure that Fairfield were trying to bring in. And I tell you what, uh, that is a heck of a showing coming out from Sienna in our opening match for them this season. Oh, I mean, it's, we weren't on camera for it, but just to do a little bit of a reenactment, that final goal, I was like, that was that was that was pretty much my my response to to that final goal um, because that was I mean such an explosive game with all this skill played it's just that little that little bounce an overcommit from Fairfield University and that bounce off of the wall from distance is the one that wins the end of the series I can't believe it oh my goodness all right we're gonna take a break we're gonna get uh, an interview in here from the Saints and uh, we'll see you back here in a moment. And we are here with X6, a.k.a. Raiji. It is their starter. I I, I, uh, I messed that one up, Billy. I messed that one up. But indeed, the captain of the squad was X6 in there with seven goals on the day. Congratulations on the W, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, now, well, I spoke with you personally on Media Day, and you were talking about you got a lot of new players coming in for this season, including two starting freshmen in Jopster and uh, Hanva. What was what was your impressions uh, coming out with their their first game ever in collegiate play? Well, like we we like prepared a lot for this because like you know it was like a whole new team, so like I had to get them like we had to like get used to playing together. So um, we were like getting ready, but then once we got closer, we were like getting nervous and like I I, I knew they would like handle the pressure though. So 
kept it under control for the most part. What did you do to help alleviate some of those nerves, help ease that? Uh, I don't know. Like, I was, I did this last year, so, like, I just tried to tell them that, like, after, like, the first game, like, your nerves will calm down. It's usually just, like, the first game that you'll get nervous, and I just, like, tried to give them advice, like, just, like, play confidently and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it showed. I mean, the, the results speak for themselves. Everybody looked very disciplined today. I was I was very impressed personally. Thank you. Yeah, I was also I was very happy. Yeah, kind of kind of leaning into what Jeff uh, just said. I, I, I was very impressed with your guys' rotations and your willingness to come off the ball when you knew that if pursuing the ball was going to put you into a negative position. Talk to me about that and your strategy going into this first game. Uh, Well, we like... We've been trying to work on like our communication, so that was like important to just like tell each other like if we got if we got the ball or whatever. But like a big thing that we do is like just say that when you're like say when you're third man, so then the other people know when to push up and just like you know look for your teammates stuff like that. So we just try to communicate and just use our like use our knowledge of Rocket League too. Well, I mean, that's the rotations looked very clean. And I mean, and just the raw talent coming out from the two freshmen was, was really impressive as well. Um, some nice, just finesse plays, some nice touches. Uh, and we, we talked about how you and Fairfield had scrimmed each other quite a bit over, over the off season, right? Did that, did that play a part? Like, did you kind of have them downloaded coming in today? Uh, I mean, I guess I, I, cause I know how, I know how they play. Cause we, I've played like a decent amount of matches with them and i even play with them like randomly outside of like this so sure i know them i know them well so like i know like their play style but you know like just gotta adapt after like first game see what they're working with well uh congratulations again on the w look forward to seeing more out of you and your squad a wonderful 3-0 sweep thank you so much for joining us any shout outs you want to give before we let you go uh there would i would There'd be a lot of people. Um, hey, you, you got the yeah. floor, my friend. So let's go with I'll go with my parents. Go with my team, my teammates, Jopster and Hanba, uh, and all my other teammates, Kyler, Bailey, Zach, um, my friends, uh, Ani, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, there's nothing like the love and support and some friends. Yeah, uh, Carly, Meredith. Uh, Let's see. Uh, if Chris is watching, if any other, <laughs> my, if any other of my friends are watching, I'm very happy you watch. Thank you for watching, because like I told them about it. Uh, we we at EGF appreciate the support as well. Well, hey, thanks again for for being here. Good luck in the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, that was a very impressive performance there from the new squad out of Siena. Uh, but it, it's time to move forward, Billy. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's Manhattan College versus Knipiak out of Connecticut. We'll see you back here for more EGF Rocket League.